as you can see, I'm elbow deep here in turbochargers. These are two turbos off a 1986 300 SDL. That's the big Mercedes with the six cylinder 603 diesel engine. And you know, for the longest time, we've been getting requests from customers, hey, when are you going to do a kit, a turbo overhaul kit for the 603 engine? And we've kind of been looking into it. There's never been that much of a demand until recently because these engines are getting older and older, just like the old 617 turbos. There still were not as many of them made, but there is a need to rebuild these turbos. Well, it didn't take, I thought, okay, let's do this. Let's get some turbos, start taking them apart and figure out how we're going to get uh, the instructions written and the parts in. And within two weeks, I, I ran into a big snag. And you know what that snag is? They used two different types of turbos on these cars. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason as to why they used one as opposed to the other. And the numbers vary all over the place. So not only will I have to come up with one kit, I'm going to have to come up with two kits. You can see these two turbos right here. This one is the German-made KKK turbo, and this one here is the U.S.-made Garrett T3 turbo. They look kind of similar, but right off the bat, if you're looking at these turbine housings right here, look at the difference in the diameter right here. And you, look, you can look here at the compressor housings. They look very similar. So I know no matter what I do, we're going to be getting a lot of emails from uh, customers saying, well, how can I tell if I have a KKK turbo or a Garrett turbo? Well, in this video, I'm just going to go over some of the basic differences in these two turbos, and I'm going to specifically show you how you can get in your engine compartment and determine which one you have. These two turbos may look similar, but they are totally different. Internally, I'll show you a comparison. This is the center section from the Garrett turbocharger, and this is the center section from the German-made Triple K. Look at the difference. Now, the German uh, center section is considerably smaller. And then if you look at the turbine wheels, this was kind of surprising to me, the turbine wheel on the German turbocharger is considerably smaller in diameter. It has a different uh, vane design, but you can see the shaft, the diameter is shaft smaller. So what we found right from the start was that none of the parts, none of the internal parts were interchangeable uh, between these two turbos. So they're going to require totally different rebuild kits. They're going to require different turbine wheels and even the compressor wheels are different. So that's, that's our first challenge. I'm going to put those aside and we'll talk specifically now about the differences. The best way to tell the difference between these two turbos is in the design and function of the wastegate. This is the wastegate lever on the Garrett. And it uses this large cylinder actuator with a long rod. It'll come up from the front like this and when you get under the car, you'll be able to see this actuator and this long rod. Now on the KKK, there is no actuator that is separate from the turbo housing. The actuator for the wastegate is built right into the back of this exhaust gas turbine housing. Notice it has these cooling fins right here. This is a very distinct um, item that you'll be able to see if you have a KKK turbo. Now, that'll let you tell which turbo you have, but it's not going to solve the problem if you need to overhaul it. When I was researching the overhaul kit for the older five-cylinder 617 turbo diesel engines, you know, I ran, I ran across this problem with the triple K turbos, but there weren't that many made and put on those engines. So, I decided that it was not worth the energy and the effort to try to come up with a complete overhaul kit for those turbos. But when I got into the 603 engine, I soon learned that a lot more of those turbos were triple K. And what I found out is that parts are not that readily available. In fact, we recently contacted uh, Mercedes-Benz of North America and found out that the wholesale price for a rebuilt triple K turbo is $1,200. 
That's a lot of money. So we are currently trying to resource the parts for this turbo. The Garrett's going to be a little bit easier to find those parts because that's a US made turbo. So I'm going to warn you right now, I do not know how far I'm going to be able to go with this. I do not know for sure if I'm going to be able to find all the parts. I do know that we can readily obtain a internal seal and bushing repair kit for the Garrett turbo. But we're having a little bit harder time finding the turbine wheels and the compressor wheels. They, you know, once again, they're different than the older 617s. But on the KKK side, this is a whole new ball game and we're having to do a considerable uh, amount of research. Now, it's not just getting the parts, it's getting the parts at the right price that we can pass on to you so it doesn't become you know, so expensive just to overhaul your turbo. turbo. So we'll kind of keep you advised. The next video, if we're successful, we'll post the results and we'll let you know when and if these kits will be available.